Mrs. Rafferty, we are going to do a visual acuity test now on you. Is that okay? Yes, that's fine. Okay. okay. Um, first, I want to put you six meters from the job. So you are standing six meters from the job now. Um, can I ask you to close your left eye for me? Use the palm of your hand without pressing on your eye um, and do not cuckoo between your fingers. So I make a little puppy. You can, you can. Um, now I ask you to go and read from the top. Um, can you read line number one for me? It's an E. You can go down. F P T O Z L P E D P E C F D E D F C Z P. And I can't see anything there. Okay. So you can read up to line number six. Um, so what that means is. It is six over and then we can see there nine. So your visual acuity in your right eye is six over nine. So what that means is you can read at six meters what a normal patient can read at nine meters. Is that good or bad? <laughs> I'll explain it to you afterwards. Yeah. Okay, now we're going to repeat the procedure mm -hmm. for the left eye. In your left eye, you could read up to line number six. So your visual acuity of the left eye then is six over twelve. Um, are you wearing glasses? Yes, I am. Can I ask you to put the glasses on? Okay. Now we're going to repeat the procedure so please close your left eye for me um, can you read from the top e f p t o z l p e d p e c f d e d f c z p f e l o p z d d e f p o t e c l e f o d p c d Okay, thank you. So it seems to me, because with the glasses on, you can read up to line number 9. So that means your visual acuity is 6 over uh, 4. So that means you can see better than a normal person with your glasses on. That's good, yes. Uh, so the normal visual, visual acuity is 6 over 6, so that is line okay. number 8. Um, so what that means is if a normal patient stands six meters from the child, you can also read that. So, um, so that is what it means. Um, so your glasses seems to me uh, that they are still good functioning. So let's, let's uh, uh, repeat that for the other side as well. Okay. Can you read from the top? E F P T O C. L P E D P E C F D E D F C C P F E L O P Z D D E F P O T E C and then I can't see. Okay, so with with your left eye you can read up to line number eight. So that is six over six. So that is exactly what we want. So it seems that your glasses are still uh, functioning well. Now I want to repeat this test with a pinhole test. So can you please remove your glasses? So we're going to do the right eye first again. So the, the um, pinhole test is just this and then you will see that there, is, there are a lot, lot of small um, holes. So I want you to put this over your nose. You can hold it like that. Uh, find a hole to look through and can you read uh, from the top for me again? E F P T O C L P E D P E C F D E D F C Z P F E L O P Z D D E F P O T E C and then I can Okay, so so with your pin out, so this one is with the glasses. And this one is with a pinhole. 
So your pinhole test is 6 over 6. Can you repeat it for me for the other eye? So you just turn that around and look through the holes and make sure that you can see through the hole. Can, can you read from line number 5 for me? P E C F D. Down. E D F C Z P. F E L. I can't see. P Z D. Then, then I can't see. Okay, so that you you could read up to, to line number seven. So that means your visual cube is six over seven point five. Um, so that means that you can read at six meters with your pinhole, um, where but a normal patient will be able to see seven point five at 7.5 meters. So what it means is that with your visual acuity without glasses, mm -hmm. you have a refractive error. So how do I determine? Do you need glasses or do you need um, uh, a consultation? Uh, is that if we do the panel and you see better with the panel, it means that the, you've got a refractive error. And we confirmed that with the glasses. So the glasses the optometrist gave you uh, is still good and functioning. Uh, so I don't think it's necessary for a specialist. Thank, Thank you, you so very much, Dr. That is very comforting. Thank you. Yeah. Good day, Mr. Van Wyk. Um, I hear you've got problems with poor vision. Yeah, I'm really struggling to see. Okay. Uh, what I'm going to do now is, is I'm going to determine your visual acuity. Can, can you read this top letter for me? Close your left eye. Uh, no, I can't see the top letter. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to give you a pinhole. So this is a pinhole. So there's some small little holes there. Try and see if you can see through that. Can you see the top letter there? Uh, no, I, I still can't see the top So you cannot see that no. letter. Okay. Move. Three meters closer, you can just come and stand here. Okay. Now, can you see uh, the top plate? No, I still can't see it. Now, I'm going to stand here at three meters. Um, can you see my fingers here? Uh, no. Could close your left eye for me, please. Um, no. You cannot see my fingers? No. Okay, now at one meter, can you see my fingers? Okay, um, now I'm just going to uh, uh, ask if you can see my hand. Can you see my hand? Uh, I, can, I can see the movement, yes. Okay, thank you. Now let's repeat it for the other eye. Can you stand there at six meters again? Can you see the stomp letter for me? Uh, no, I can't. Okay, now I'm going to repeat it with the panel. Can you just hold this in front of you? Uh, can you see? I still can't see the top one. Okay, let's move three meters closer. Close your right eye. Um, can you see this top letter? No, uh, no, I still can't see it. Okay, um, now I'm going to. Can you see my fingers here at three meters? Uh, no. I'm going to come closer. Can you see my fingers at one meter? Uh, no. Okay. Uh, can you see my hand? Uh, yes, I see movement. Okay. Thank you. Thank you very much. So the visual acuity is the hand movements in both eyes. So the problem is, is if we've got a patient with poor vision or low vision, um, it is always difficult to determine the visual acuity. Um, so if the patient cannot read the top letter, it means the patient's vision is worse than 6 over 60. So that means this patient cannot read at 6 meters what a patient at 60 meters can read. So the first solution for that is, is to move the patient 3 meters closer. So if the patient is 3 meters closer, then so, say for instance the patient could read the top letter uh, at 3 meters, then the visual acuity will be 3 over 60. That means the patient can read at 3 meters what a normal patient can read at 60. 
meters and that is exactly the same as 6 over 120. So that means this patient, this visual acuity is 6 over 120. This patient can read at 6 meters what a normal patient can read at 120 meters. That is very poor vision. If a patient cannot read the letter, the, the letter at 3 meters, the next step is to do fingers counting at 3 meters. So you ask if the patient can read, can, can count your fingers at 3 meters. If the patient cannot do that, you move closer to 1 meter, then we say the visual acuity is fingers counting 1 meter. If the patient cannot read that, or see your fingers, then you do hand movements. So what we do with hand movements is you move your fingers in front of the patient uh, without causing uh, wind flow so that the patient cannot feel. If the patient cannot see hand movements, the next step is to determine light perception. So light perception is where you use a light, shine it into the patient's eye and ask if he can see the light. If he can see the light, it means the patient's visual, visual acuity is light perception. If the patient cannot see light perception, then we say the patient has got no light perception and then the patient is 